Today I want to talk to you about installing memory in your DS1621 Plus NAS. It's not a big deal. It's just like adding memory to a laptop. But the challenge I had was figuring out exactly what kind of memory to add. I looked it up and there was all kinds of different settings about memory and I don't follow what all those mean. The most important thing is you do need to get the ECC RAM. And what I did is I actually followed the model number that Synology said to use, the, uh, the exact model number of their RAM, and I found the different kinds of RAM that were compatible with that. Let me show you the RAM that I chose on Amazon, and then I'll show you installing it in the device. So this is the memory I bought. Nice packaging. Got a pair of scissors out, and then we'll be into this one in no time. I went with OWC because I have other OWC things and I'm happy with them. And it was about $100, so I'm sure better than the price of the Synology memory. And there they are. Let's go install them. First thing we do is go into the Synology interface and do a clean shutdown. And here I am trying to figure out how to do that. How often do you shut down your NAS? Now we have the patient on the table. And that thing's heavy. There's five drives in there and it's, <laughs> it's pretty well built. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And there's the existing memory. And I was happy I didn't open the wrong door. And just like in a laptop, memory pops right out. And they're keyed, so you can't put them in wrong. Click it in place. And there I am just trying to fiddle and make sure those little edges have clicked. And this one is in as well. And we're done. I just need to figure out how to put the lid back on. What's going to go wrong? Something's going to go wrong. I'll try it upside down. This goes back like so. No, this goes back like so. Yeah, that's definitely that's right. upside down. Try it the right way, and now just try to get those screws in. That's it. Let's go set it up. Moment of truth. So we log in and we should see 32 gigs of memory. Just like before, I have to figure out where do they hide that information in the user interface. So let's try control panel. That sounds promising. And info center. So that's it. We now have 32 gigs in our NAS. Thank you for watching.